Um, today we're going to change the LCD on a rather sad looking N73. To do this, first of all, we need to get this housing off. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the phone off and take the battery out so we can avoid accidentally powering on the phone whilst we're um, in the process of changing the screen. To do that, take the back cover off as normal and just take the battery out. First of all, to get this top part off, what we need to do is just get a screwdriver preferably one with a slightly lipped end. If you haven't got one like this, then a normal screwdriver will do, it just takes a little bit longer and you just have to be a little bit more careful. What we do with the screwdriver is between the keypad and the side of the housing. Just gently pop it in and click it up, pulling the fascia away from the side of the case. Eventually what will happen is it will click. Just be careful not to be too forceful with it, otherwise you will snap the casing. And that was obviously the last thing you want to do. Once you've got a bit of a raise, you should be able to run your finger along the side of the casing and it should start to come up as shown. To do that with the whole way down the side, the best way to describe it is pulling the housing away from the fascia so it snaps away, like so. Then we just need to do the same with the other side, using the same screwdriver. Sometimes it's going to be a little bit more tricky just because of the angle the phone is now at. So what we'll do is we'll just click it up gently. Like so. Like I said, this is the trickier part. There we go, and once it's clicked up, you can then just click the whole fascia off. Ta-da. Okay, next what we're going to do is remove the two T6 screws at the top here so we can get the LCD out. To do that you will need a T6 screwdriver. and put the screws somewhere safe. I usually use the back cover. Okay. Go keep that out of the way and then you'll see there's another set of four screws underneath. So what we'll do is we'll just take these off. As they're slightly shorter, we'll keep them slightly separated. Just so we don't confuse them like that. Okay, now that all six screws are out, okay, what we need to do is just take off this frame part here. To do that, just get your lip screwdriver gently under it and it should just come off, like so. Keep that safe. Now what we need to do is just gently ease the LCD screen out so we can check it. Be very careful of the two ribbons underneath, the one connecting the keyboard and the one where the LCD actually connects with the phone, just down there. What we need to do with that one is just gently ease that up and pop it out. That's our broken LCD, over and done with. We'll grab a new LCD from any decent LCD supplier, preferably Nokia original. What you need to do first is just gently line your LCD up Pop the ribbon in. 
wants to stay in. Right. Pop it in so it clicks in. Clicks in. Pop your LCD down. Put your frame back on. This sometimes can be a little bit tricky to clip down depending on how bent it got when it came off. When reapplying the frame, it's easier to go from just where the little camera is and bring it down around the LCD. Now what we're going to do is to screw down the four screws on the keypad using your T6. Then finally get your last two screws and pop them in the top. Okay, once you've got all your screws in, put your keypad back on. Make sure it's lined up roughly right, because you want it to work properly. Grab your fascia, which should really easily just snap back into place. And just a final test to power it on again, just to make sure everything is working 100%. There we get one successfully changed LCD in a Nokia N73.